In this video, we will learn more about two students from the LGBTQ communities' experiences here at Longwood. Their stories help us understand what it means to be queer at Longwood and the resources available for them on campus. Hi, my name is Ethan. I am a senior here at Longwood. I identify as trans mask and bisexual. Hello, my name is Cameron Ridpath. I'm a senior here at Longwood. Um, I'm a member of the LGBTQ community and my pronouns are she and hers. I think that the resources on campus for LGBTQIA plus students are really expanding um, since my freshman year. So the past four years, I've seen a lot of growth um, within resources and just overall assistance for LGBT students, which is really like warming to see. It's really nice to see how much things have changed in just a few years. It makes me really optimistic for what Longwood's going to become as a place for LGBT students. I would say that there are definitely some resources on campus for queer students, but that's always something that can be improved. With Farmville being such a small town, there are people who aren't as accepting of LGBTQIA people, but those are mostly people who aren't on campus. Um, even those who are on campus that aren't necessarily as accepting, quote unquote. Um, they're very willing and eager to learn more about the community that they might not have been involved with or been exposed to before coming to Longwood. I would say you can't really make a generalization on how the community of Longwood interacts with LGBTQ plus community um, just because that's so many people and it's really more of an individual basis how people feel and how they're going to treat other people um, with either kindness or honestly hatred um, and I have experienced both as a student and member of the LGBTQ plus community at Longwood um, from Longwood students. I wouldn't say I've really had many negative experiences um, in regards to my sexuality with professors. I don't really feel like normalizing introducing yourself with pronouns would be really helpful. Um, my freshman year, I had a professor who introduced herself with her pronouns first day of class. And as someone who was still questioning my gender at the time, it was really nice to see that even people who are cisgender still think it's important to share their pronouns. So I would say there's kind of a, a lot of ways that could be advanced. As always, we can be working harder and doing more for LGBTQ um, students and youth. Um, one thing that I think we would really benefit from is having a peer mentor group, which is the group that you come into when you're a freshman and you have a peer mentor assigned you who's an upperclassman and they kind of help you um, just coming to campus and getting used to campus and figuring out what the heck you're supposed to do freshman year basically. And you have a group of peers um, that have basically a like-minded interest and one of the topics could be um, being a member of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, I think this would be a great benefit to campus and to those students um, because a lot of students a part of that community um, have common issues um, and we could do different events like with CAPS potentially um, and different um, campus resources, uh, maybe even doing attending like a pride club meeting together, which is another, um, you know, organization we have on campus that's here to help LGBTQ plus students. I do wish there was a little more diversity in the staff, but my overall experience with CAPS in four years, because I've been going since I was a freshman, is that I, the counselors there, I've been, I've met with a few of them. Um, all of the counselors are very educated and aware of my identity and how to approach people who are trans or bisexual or gay or lesbian, any form of LGBTQ.